Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Booster Kraken Sunday, and we're trying out the dual camera thing once again with the new uh, GoPro thingy that I got rip off GoPro. So we're going to try it out and see what you guys think. Let me know how, what you think of the video quality and if I should continue doing the dual cams. It's something I want to try to do more often. Uh, but today we are opening up the Millennia of Ages, the infamous, the infamous set that almost, almost took out Force of Will, but they came back and they're stronger than ever. Uh, but this is the set. It was a very, very small set that uh, was really overblown in the market. And uh, yeah, it did not have the appeal and a, a lot of the local game stores uh, weren't able to really make any profit or do a lot with this product. And like I said, it was the one that almost almost took out the game itself and they had to bounce back as a company and and uh figure out some new ways to do things um going into like the valhalla sets and stuff like that that's where they really ramped everything up and got things back on track so this is the set there's still some cool cards in here so i'm excited to open it up and just see what we can get uh i believe you can get stamped foils in this one uh, but yeah let's open this thing up and see what we can find all right I'll probably play around with the angle of the camera in the next few episodes. Front facing on the side, who knows? We'll figure it out. All right, boom. A beautiful looking box. Like the artwork in these sets still. But uh, yeah, let's jump in and see what we can find. I think I'll just make this a one-parter for this one. But yeah, let's uh, get into it here. All right, Wind of God's Ghost Flame. Mount Immortal Ritual, and there we go. There's our first stamped right there. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's see. Felsing the Elvish Oracle. Full art. Now, the quality, I can tell the quality is a little bit cheaper in this pack. It's a little bit more flimsy, unfortunately. Uh, but we got Blazer, the Awakener. Pretty cool. They got like these gold borders in this set, which is interesting. Uh, so is that how it goes? Let me double check. Yeah, so we get our foil and then our rare afterwards so that's our rare i don't know if i'll price everything this time around i'll just look up like the most valued stuff in this one i believe uh just because i i know this set there's like barely anything that's really worth anything in this one so all right let's keep going here all right a nice moon wind of gods mount immortal see we're gonna see a lot of doubles a lot of doubles in this set uh but we got keeper of the magic stones very nice looking foil and then we got zero the flashing mage warrior i forgot about this zero this is one that i want to add to the collection so i want to get her in a full art stamped if we can pandora princess of history all right cool zero one of my favorite characters i think so far in force of will uh, yeah, gotta get the full art, but there is a foil blazer looking pretty crazy. And Luna, the liar girl, as our rare. We'll go through the rest of these. Wait, what is that? That's Mistopheles? The demon collaborator? How many versions of Mistopheles are there? He's like, <laughs> every time I open him, he's like in this weird, crazy form, like just different form. Next one. Let's do this. We got Wormhole. Window Gods again, Pandora Box of Hope. And we got the Ten Fist Sword, Foil, and the Fantasy Dragon. Nah, whatever. Keep it coming, keep it coming. So basically, I had to just get this set because it's so darn cheap. You can get a box for like $18, but nice hit. The Invisible Ghostly Flame My List as our foil stamped. Full art. Really sweet awesome and then the mage is our rare okay lumia saint of the world rebirth Ooh, i've got a set coming up for her there's a nice set with some nice cards with her in it a little teaser for you guys for some stuff that's coming up check out the vlog when it comes out you'll see more details on it anyways as i was saying i basically just got this box to complete my checklist of opening up all the sets in force of will that's my goal is to get a box of each set um Eben the Mage, Ebion the Mage is our foil, not that great, and Blazer again. And, oh, it's Christy. The Warren was saying, I didn't realize I was going to be Christy. Oh, cool. But yeah, one of each box, at least, if not more. But uh, I've hit a lot of them, actually. I think I'm like, I want to say I'm like 90% with the boxes I've purchased and opened. Uh, I still got to open quite a few. There's our foil, just a common. And then we got Malfi's Successor of Sacred Wind. Hansel, 
and Grim. Oh, look at Grim. He's looking different in this one, too. Still, just stunning artwork in these. Like, the artwork is just always so top-notch. Dark Pulse. We got Keeper of Magic Stones. That's a rare. Wait. Oh, that's a super rare, but it's not a foil. So this spot might be for super rares, I guess. Or there's our foil. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how this one works. Alice's Pursuit, foil, and Naralathotep the Usurper. That's good. I actually need this one for my deck I'm building. I apologize if uh, you can hear the wind outside. It is storming today, and I tried to wait and be patient for the storm to pass, but it is like a freaking tornado out there right now. It's ridiculous. Another dimension as our foil and Magus of Light, which this is a reprint, or we've seen reprints. This is, might be the original set it's from, I'm not sure. Uh, Living Flame and Emperor. All right, next one, Moon Incarnation. Dark Pulse again. Spell Pandora, and we've got Cayuga, the Tale of the Bamboo Cutter. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. It's great. It's a great card. Great foil. Little Red, Hope of Millennia. I mean, there are some classic cards in this set, that's for sure. It was all about the sellability, though. It was all about that. All right, so what else we got here? Ghost Flame, Wind of Gods, Dark Pulse again, and we got a nice foil, Blazer the Awakener. He is just... Can we take a second to really look at his artwork? He's got an insane face. All right, Elvish Oracle. And Millennia and Millennia, that's our rare. Let's go, go over here in our other pile, our little rare pile. Next one, let's do this. Moon Incarnation, Ghostly Flame. There's that wind picking up again, holy crap. Oh, a nice foil, Nartholethotep, the Usurper. Very cool, and another Elvish Oracle. Like I said, doubles, doubles, doubles all day. You could literally just buy one box of this set and get the whole place that you need out of anything. Uh, so that, again, impacted people's want and need to buy more boxes and buy more par cards, which really impacted the market at the time. Ooh, I love that. I love that pull. Little Red, the Hope of Millennia as a foil stamped. And man, ooh, it's, it's a nice shiner. It is a very nice shiner. Another one of these Elvish Oracles. Yeah, see, this is probably why I'm going to not include a lot of prices in this one, maybe just do the foil stamp prices or something, because uh, it's just not, <laughs> it's gonna be a waste of time. Yeah, none of these are worth anything. Cayuga though, there's a bamboo cutter, as our super rare like in the front, what? And there's our foil, and then there's a rare. All right, I don't know, I don't know how they have these packs set up. Next one, let's go. We got Alice's Pursuit. Outer World, Wind of Gods, uh, Alice's Soldier as our foil, Melfi, Successor of the Sacred Wind as our just a rare, uncommon, uncommon. Keep it cruising. I'm hoping this camera works out. I've been playing around with it. I don't know if I'm super impressed with it. It was a knockoff. It was a knockoff. There's our super rare Ghostly Flame. Liberate the world and another dragon, Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, I didn't pay a lot for this one. You know, I didn't pay a lot for this camera. Uh, so I have my doubts if it's actually gonna be <laughs> worth my time or not. <laughs> if not, we'll get there eventually. I got my buddy will loan me his actual GoPro if this one kind of sucks. Magus of Light, Blazer, and Hansel Gretel, Hansel Gretel, Lumia. Ooh, there we go. Moon Incarnation, Wind of Gods, Ghost Flame, uh, ooh, Cesarad, Teller of Crimson Mood, M Mood? Crimson Mood, Crimson Moon, beautiful artwork on this one, I love this one, definitely want a foil of that, and we got Mount Immortal as our rare, and another zero, but not the full art we're looking for, I don't know if there's uber rares in this set, honestly, uh, I'm not sure, but if you guys haven't seen... I just recently pulled two uber rares, two weeks in a row, one in a live stream, and one uh, from Echoes of the New World, my first uber rare ever to be pulled on the channel and what I've collected. So if you guys haven't seen that, they're pretty awesome episodes, especially Echoes of the New World. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out. Link will be in the description. It's a great episode to watch. There's so many cool cards in that set. All right, let's keep it flowing. See what else we can find. I also see a Hansel and Gretel in the back. We got a nice foil ghostly flame. You see how many we're getting of these. We've gotten like three each of everything. Little Red again. 
and Pandora Princess of History Chanter, which is just not uncommon, but I feel like in every other set she's a rare. There goes that wind again. Push those cards down, make sure we don't rip them, and we'll start going in. And, ooh, all right, speaking of Pandora, Princess of History Chanter, we got a nice foil of her, which I'm happy about. I'm gonna keep that over there in that stack because I wanna put that in my binder. Uh, what was that? That was Liar Girl as our rare, all right. Boom. Probably have to work on the lighting with this camera a little bit more too, but I'm, <laughs> I'm winging it today. I'm behind to get the upload out as it is. All right, so we got a nice Fancy Dragon as our foil, the Mage, and then Ten Fist Sword as our uncommon. Oh, I thought he was a rare. Guess not. Paying less attention today. All right. Dark Pulse. Let's go. Transparent Moon, Wormhole, Yodrazel, Shining Bamboo, and Lumia, Saint Lady of World Rebirth. Really cool. Really cool. I like her character a lot. I don't, I don't think she's in a ton of the sets, but I'm putting her over there. Another blazer and uncommons. All right, we're getting through. Let's do this. Keep cruising. Wind Castle and Ghostly Flame again. Fetal Movement of the Outer World as our foil. Just a foil. Is that a common? Yeah, it's just a common. Liar Girl again. Uh, Elder God. She's a cool character. Uncommon, though. All right, come on. Zero. We gotta get that zero before this box ends. If I don't get it, I'm gonna have to get another one of these boxes eventually. Ooh, that is a nice one, though. Did we get a foil stamp? No, we just got a regular foil of her. All right, so foil stamped of Cayuga, Tail of Bamboo Cutter. Really sweet. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice one. What's behind it? Another mage, another elder god. Oh, that wind. Oh, my gosh. Feels like my freaking house is gonna implode on itself. All right, oh, she's in here. That's cool, super rare, queen of the fantasy world. I love the artist in this, on these cards. It's really cool. I'm not gonna even try to say her name, Mod, Mojart, Modart. Say I'm not gonna try to say it and then I immediately say it, so. Okay, all right, Cthulhu, the living flame and Grim again. Let's keep her running the show here, all right. Ritual, winds, moon, boom, there's a foil. Zero, but it's not the full art stamped, so we gotta get the full art stamped. Uh, she probably only worth like a buck fifty or something, honestly. I don't think she's worth like anything, unless it's like the foil stamp, then maybe she's like four dollars. Narla the tip again, I'll take it. All right, Alice's Pursuit, fly through these suckers. There she is again, really sweet. Refarth, Little Red. And Elder God and blah, blah, blah. We are flying through this box. Let's go. All right. Shining Bamboo. Try to keep my camera set. Another Pandora Princess. All right, cool. That was, uh, that was that. Magus of Light as our rare. And Emperor and Mephistopheles. Wow. Oh. Ooh, that one just split right down the middle. All right. Temporal Spell. Duet of Light. Moon. And once again, another ghostly flame. This is gonna be funny looking at all these at the end. Narl at the tap, Cthulhu. All right, we're getting down to it. We only got a few more. Let's keep cruising these poles with Alice's Pursuit Foil, Narl at the tap, and Arya and Grim. Oh, there we go, Millennia of Ages. Let's get something good here. What's the best thing we can find? Probably zero. Melfi's not bad though. That's a nice uh, foil of her. I'll take that. And him, we've gotten like six of now. That's great. So what were there? I think there was only like 50 cards in this set. Some ridiculously low number to where your odds are just insanely high. All right, nice uh, foil of the Elvish Oracle. And right behind her, the Elvish Oracle and Lumia. Boom, three more packs. Let's do this. Transparent, Refarth, Shining Bamboo is our foil, not great. There's our mage, there's Christy. Alrighty. Mount Immortal, Outer World, Old Man, Ghost Flame, and a foil liar girl. Alright, I don't think you're worth anything. Another zero, just not the one we're looking for. Don't make me buy another box of this. Come on. Last pack. Zero. Oil stamped. Thank you very much and please. Let's go. Alice's Pursuit, Pandora, Book of Eben, and another dimension. Ugh, just a common foil. That sucks. Little Red, and then Christy, and then the Oracle. Oh well. Alright, I laid them all out for all our doubles. Look at how many 
of these guys we got. We got six of these guys. We got four of him. We got four zeros, five Naralethoteps, and that's not even including all our foil stamps. So here's our foil stamps that we got. Uh, these are the big ones. So we got the Elvish Oracle, really sweet, ghostly flame, Blazer, classic Blazer, a little red. We got Cayuga, which was great. I like that pull. And then we got the Liar Girl. So. Hey, totals up on the screen for how we did today, and uh, like I said, the box is only like, I think I got this one for like 15 bucks, they're super, super freaking cheap. So if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because we're opening up more booster cracks in the future and some really exciting ones too, some more rare sets. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing me open up some rare sets from Force of Will, make sure to subscribe. I really do appreciate it. We're trying to hit the 1K, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next video.